All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about this slide release and how we can use this slide release to kind of manipulate a DB in this situation, okay? So here's the deal. When we work this slide off the line here, we got to make sure I'm very patient with my feet, and then when I decide to make this move, I got to explode with my upper half, and I got to explode with my feet. So you see how he's sliding here. Now, this DB, you're all going to say he should have stayed square, right? But there comes a point where if I slide, he's got to make a decision, right? Because here's the deal. If he stays home like this, and I slide one, two, and let's say he plays this slant pretty well, right? Now, next time I work this slide release, let's say I have a vert and he's still staying disciplined playing inside, I just take off on the outside and go because I'm staying in this range where he can't have hands on me, right? And let's say he does make a decision. Let's say I slide right here and he does make a decision to come at me and try to get hands, try to jam. All I got to do is have a plan for that hand, swat his hands by because he's going to be forced to come at me. And when he comes at me, he's a little bit off balance. So you see when he gets in this situation where we can kind of get this DB to open up his hips and commit, right? Right? All it is, is we just make this crossover, right? So you see one, two, and look where his head and look where his shoulders went because we could reverse it the same way. Like, let's say we come out one time and we have a fade, right? Work a little bit of a slide release, then we take off and push vertical, right? What's going to happen is this guy's going to get overcommitted. He's not going to want to get burned every single time on this fade. So now we come back, slide, commit my shoulders to the outside. That's going to get a reaction out of him. It's all a mind game when you work this slide release. We got to be patient. Then when it's time to make our move, we got to be explosive and commit my head and my shoulders. But the only reason this can work is if we're in that range where he has to make a decision. He's either going to stay disciplined, shuffle with us, or come at us. We just get those hands off. And then after that break, we accelerate off this thing. That's a great job as receiver. Let's watch it full speed one more time. So slide, one, two. Get him to slide all the way over. That's a great job working this slide release.